Hello and welcome to this video. If you're new here, my name is Marta and I'm really excited because today I will be testing out my Lethal Cosmetics palette. It's a palette that I made consisting of single shadows so I can change the arrangement in the palette as much as I'd like, but this is how I ended up putting them. So I will just do some swatches first, then I will talk a little bit about how I place the shadows in the palette before I do a first impression look with these shadows. This is the shade um, Nocturnal, which is the dark brown shade. And I really feel that it just made the whole palette more complete just because I can darken up all of these shades that I have in the palette with this dark brown shade. And it did really look very dark in the swatches. So I'm really happy about that. As for the placement of the single shadows in the palette, I always like to start out with a light shade, which is why I put, put the cycle here. And I like to do similar shades next to each other. Not that Recluse is sh similar to Cycle, but I feel like they're quite light, both of them, and it makes like a good transition from these orange tones to the green tones right here. And uh, this Cascade shade I just literally put here just because I think that it will look great with the green. I think it will look great with the orange. I also think that it will look good with the shade Recluse here. And of course it's nice with a purpley pink shade and some blues together so I just feel like this is like not a wild card but it's a nice shade to pair with all of these shades and as you can see I just continued the orange shades to the red shades and here I just ended up putting the blue I could have had the dark brown here too to have more of a separation but I do think that it's nice to sometimes not just put shades together with the shades that they look like just to I don't know, spark a little bit of creativity when you do the looks. And on the bottom row we have some of the darker shades. We have the dark green, which is, as I said, close to Cascade because I think it will look good with that. It's next to the lime green shimmer because obviously those two will make a very nice duo together on the eye. And also the shade Ether will look very well with the shade Eden. So that's why I placed them there. And I also have like, as you can see, it's the lightest shade here in the corner and then we have the darkest shade in this corner, which I really like to do when I place my palettes together. I guess that was it for the swatches and my thoughts on the palette. So I will just uh, prime my eyelids and go straight into the look. As usual, I am just priming my eyes with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define makes a great base for my eyeshadows. As I have told you, this is a first impression, so I'm not sure how these shadows are going to apply onto a wet base. So that will be interesting to see because I always use this as an eyeshadow base, but I do know that some shadows don't work that well on a wet base. So it will be interesting to see if these actually do. So there are a lot of different things I want to try out, but for today, I think I will try to do something with the purple shade Cascade and the uh, green shimmer here called uh, Ether. So I will just go in with this dark brown first 
just to darken up the crease to make sure that I have the deepness that I want in the crease and then I will just blend it out with the shade Cascade and put the shade Ether onto my lid. Like I was hoping, this is a very dark shade, so that is just perfect to deepen up any look with any of these shadows that I have in my palette. I'm really glad about that. As you can see, there is a bit of fallout here, but I do, like I am using a very big blending brush, so maybe if you use a smaller brush, then you won't have that. And it does seem to be blending out very nicely. Now I'm going in with the shade Cascade. I'm using a uh, blending brush that is a bit smaller and it's half flat. So I just really love this one for blending in my crease. So I'm just trying that out with this shade. And it's very, very pigmented as you can see. Like I usually do, I'm just going in with some white translucent powder underneath my brows just to make sure I don't drag these shadows up way too much because these seem to be very pigmented and I don't want the shadow to go way too far up. As you can see, it's quite a lot of fallout, but I did also pick up a lot on my brush. So if you're more careful with that, you probably won't have that much fallout. I'm very happy that these seem to be blending well and to be and that they are very pigmented just because I paid uh, two times 36 euros which is about 360 Norwegian kroner and they ended up sending them both in the same one which may and it made me end up paying a lot of tax on them so I ended up paying like almost I think 100 euros or more at least it was over 1000 Norwegian kroner, so I think it was over 100 euros for these 14 shades, so they better be really good. <laughs> and this is looking very beautiful in my opinion. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with the mattes on this eye and then I will put the shimmer on. Now that I am done with the matte shades, I'm going into the shade Ether that you can see right here. And I'll just be spraying it with my Mario Badescu spray because I don't really know how these perform and often if they are very creamy if I use a glitter glue, glue like I usually do it will uh, crease during the night not that I'm doing anything special tonight but it's always nice to have a little bit more control so I'm just adding the shade ether here on the outer corner of my lid I really really love these colors together. I just think that they are like jewel toned shades and they just complement each other so well. And I guess that's very true because they are complementary shaded colors in the color wheel. So yeah, I'm trying to make this a bit of a more interesting look. So I will be going in with the shade Vertex for my inner corner on the lid. I want the shade Ether to be more of like the spotlight here, so I'm trying to just blend it a bit over the shade Vertex again, so we have more of that color. And they do actually look very nice mixed together. I think I'm quite happy with how this is looking, so I will just do the same thing on my other eye. This is how my finished look with my Lethal Cosmetics shadows turned out. I really like it. 
and the matte shades were really easy to blend. I ended up putting the shade Cascade underneath my lower lash line as well as the shade Vertex just to create a little bit more of, I don't know, just a special effect because it's a lime green and I really think that it goes well with the look because I do have some green and some of the shade Vertex here and it almost just looks uh, gold on the inner corner here because it's paired with the darker green but I really like how it looks. And for my highlight, I ended up using my Luxie Beauty highlight in the shade Stripped. It's a white to pink highlight and it looks a little bit purple as well because it's a little bit more of a magenta shade. But I really like how it goes with the look. So all in all, I'm very happy with how the shades uh, performed this far. I'm really curious to try the rest of the shades like the blue and the oranges. And especially this one Recluse will be very fun to try out. But this far I'm very happy with how they performed and how they look. They do have some kick up as you can see, I already blew away some of it earlier. But I don't really mind that. They did have fallout as well, but of course I do my face makeup after my eye makeup. So again, I don't mind that. But yeah, this far I think they are, like, they are very expensive. At least for me who has to pay taxes for it. But this far they are sort of worth it because they are very good quality. So I might pick up some more because I've already laid my eyes on some other shades that I would like to try out from this brand. And yeah, they haven't disappointed, disappointed me yet. So I will still continue to try them out and maybe I will purchase some more, especially if they have a sale during the Black Friday sale. Yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. I hope you liked this look. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!